Good. I'm ready. I'm ready when you are. Yep. How's everybody doing today? Good. 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 Well, when it comes to making a good first impression, it's very important for a variety of reasons. At the end of the session, you'll be able to make a better first impression for job interviews when you graduate college and try to get jobs in your field. By the way, my name is Kurt Barnowski, and my presentation is about how to make a good first impression in a professional job interview setting. Reasons why it's important to make a good first impression. When you meet someone, this, I think it was Mrs. Newman that actually said this, they mainly judge you for the first seven seconds. So after this, it takes a lot of work to receive good judgment from the person you just met, if you didn't know them as well. Anybody ever have a professor that left a bad first impression? Mm -hmm. Did they turn out good after or no? <laughs> One turned out okay for me, but I'm not a huge fan of him. I'm not going to say his name. Well, he doesn't teach in this department. Um, during the interview, the employer knows you are qualified, so you need to have a good interview to get the job. My word of advice is get your network as big as possible because the bigger your network, the more info you're interviewer is going to have on you, therefore it's going to be easier and the questions they ask you won't be as tough. I'm very fortunate, I have a huge network in my field. Every, I've, I've done a lot of part-time work in my field over the past few years, so since I know so many people, it's been a very easy to get jobs and I'm basically going on interviews and they're telling me what the job's like and then asking me if I'm still interested. That's all it is. So yeah, build a huge network. I promise you it'll be a lot easier. So a lot of us are on the verge of graduating college and are trying to find a professional job in the real world. So the time for us to learn is now. Right here in the bottom here. A common mistake college students make is thinking that if they graduate get a degree, they will automatically get a job without having to work hard for it. Not true at all. You have to have a network. I'm, I'm not trying to scare any of you, but I know some people who have been out of college for five years now and still don't have a job in their field, and they're paying $500 a month in loans. Sorry, I don't mean to scare any of you. That's why I say don't let that work. <laughs> if you want to move, though, it might work out for you. <laughs> it's just this area is really bad. Um, how about getting groups for about a minute or two? What do you guys think is good in order to make a good first impression at a job interview? <laughs> Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs>
good? Good? Anybody want to share? Anybody else? Um, we said to shake their hand and look open and have open body posture and like make nice eye contact. Not crying is important. Don't cry. <laughs> don't be hungover. Maybe phone interviews. Hit that for crying. <laughs> I think phone interviews are worse. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to do on your lunch break about five hours there? <laughs> Anybody else? I would say, I would think it's good to like kind of break the ice at first in an interview. I remember like at the base, like especially like when I went in there and I was like interviewed by the six people and I was so nervous and they were all so serious. Mm -hmm. Doctor, I tell something about yourself and I always use them a triplet because I'm like, I feel like that's always like a, such, such a good like icebreaker. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to shake a triplet and they're like, oh my God. <laughs> and they're like, do you guys share your room? Do you guys read them? A lot of people who interview you, they understand you're going to be nervous to a certain extent. They don't, don't make it look like you're trying too hard. So that just makes you look even worse. Here's some things I think are important. Um, appropriate attire, good hygiene. Look confident, eye contact, good posture, seem prepared, good handshake. My recommendation, try and get a good night of rest the night before, although I'm different, I can't sleep before interviews, even though they usually not, don't end up being that bad, so at least get some rest, try to get some anyway. I know stress keeps you awake at night. Um, all right, out of these three men, who do you think is the, has the most appropriate attire for an interview? This one right here, I'm assuming you're all going to agree on? Yeah. Why not the other two? I mean, I think they're all good looking. I don't like the shirt. The shoes are just standard. I have to say you guys are this it's like you're preparing for an office party or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At least three women who do you think has the most appropriate attire? Well, I think the first two. Two are fine. One in the yeah. middle. Well, she's still a little cleave, so maybe not her. Yeah. She wouldn't be a fashion she has no cleave. She has no cleave. For <laughs> sure. It's not her fault. That is, that is not her fault. That is not her fault. That's like, that's like, she's intense. I like her. The middle is the best. The third one looks like a gap. Yeah. Yeah. The third one is a little too much. I only like the first one, honestly. Yeah. So, are we like half and half on the first and second one? Yeah. Yeah. So, they're both pretty good in my opinion. <laughs> all right, in conclusion, I hope, I hope you all learned something new about how to make a good first impression and that you use this in the future to help you be successful at finding a career in the real world. You guys may now ask me questions, give me feedback, feel free to grill me. <laughs> I think the one thing that uh, we should all try to remember when it comes to an interview is that you already are qualified. Mm -hmm. you, he or she would not be bringing you in uh, to interview you if, you if you weren't already qualified. So the interview really is a matter of whether you're going to mesh with the employer and or the employee. So how you, so it's it's really not even about you, you know, what what your qualifications are because you've already you've already qualified. But it's it's really about interpersonal communication, you know, and if you keep that in mind, uh, it, I think it helps to alleviate some of that pressure. I agree.
So what you go from like hockey season to baseball season, you like you kind of do it like that what? with what you're doing. I'm sorry, what does that have to do with sports this? equipment, right? Yeah. Is that what you're doing now? Mm-hmm. So that's why, right? You go from sports season to sports season, you're getting interviewed like that. Kind of. Well, yeah, I got fired in baseball because my boss was friends with the clubhouse manager there. Yeah, that's so that's how I got fired there. Hmm. Anybody else? Um, no. <laughs> Good. Good.